it's a sad day, a sad day in American history. You know why? Because there is a war criminal in town. Thousands of protesters descended on Washington, D.C. as they marched ahead of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's speech. We condemn Netanyahu when we say your blood is covered, your hands are covered in blood. The protesters gathered to call for an end to the conflict that has killed more than 39,000 Palestinians. The idea that my country, you know, my, you know, the government, the tax dollars are all going to weapons, weapons that are that are being dropped on hospitals and schools and kids and old people is it's something I can't I can't sit idly by. Um, I, I'd serve in the United States Marine Corps. The videos I see go against all the loose rules of war that we were taught. Um, and I, I can't, I just can't, I can't sit by and... It, it's, it's long past due that in the United States we recognize that Palestinians have human rights too. And that this is a settler occupation that Israel is perpetrating. They are not the, uh, defending themselves, they are offensive. They're offensive as they come into the territories, as they surround and siege Gaza. So let's have a little justice for the people of Palestine. Many of the protesters also attempted to block intersections as they marched. Inside the Capitol, six demonstrators were arrested in the House Gallery as Netanyahu delivered a fiery speech to Congress, lauding U.S.-Israeli unity and praising President Joe Biden. I thank President Biden for his heartfelt support for Israel. After the savage attack on October 7th, he rightly called Hamas sheer evil. He dispatched two aircraft carriers to the Middle East to deter a wider war, and he came to Israel to stand with us during our darkest hour, a visit that will never be forgotten. Meanwhile, many outside called for peace and an end to the killing. 